imagine you're in the world of Minecraft Attack on Titan. As the Colossal Titan. Training to become a member of the Survey Corps, cutting down Titans with your ODM gear, and battling other Titan shifters that are trying to steal your Colossal powers. For 100 days! Oh no, there are three Titans right there. I gotta make a break for it. I don't think I'll be able to outrun these guys. I have to go hide behind a tree or something. Come on, come on. Where's a good tree? Where's a good tree? Oh, uh, they're still right behind me. They just broke through that whole tree. That plane's a no-go. I don't think I'll be able to outrun these guys. I have to keep trying, though. Oh, they're still on my tail. I can't keep this up forever. Oh! Whoa, they're gone. I, I have so many hearts. Am I the Colossal Titan? This is so amazing. Wait, whoa, wait, what is happening? Oh, uh, who are you? What are you doing here? Come on, let's get you back. Wait, where am I? What is this place? I have to go find out. Um, excuse me, can you tell me where we are? We are in the Shiganshina district, on the outskirts of Wall Maria. Is there anything else you ask it of me? No, that helped. Uh, thank you. <laughs> I said goodbye, and then I left to explore Shiganshina. And this place was massive. I found this big building at the center and went inside. And inside there is a classroom with a bunch of YouTubers as students. Is that Bronzo and Koopa Cool? Anyways, I want to fight the Titans. How can I do that? Here, take this. Come train and join our ranks. Also, subscribe if you want more content like this. I mean, Levi said it, not me. When I left the building, it was completely dark outside. So, I went back to my house and stayed the night. On the morning of day two, I looked at my map and then went to start my adventure. And on my journey, I found a horse in a stable. Inside there was a whole bunch of wheat and a saddle. I used that wheat to make my food, and after taming my horse, we started off to look for the training area. But little did I know, there was trouble lurking ahead on the path. We came across a 15 meter titan and two 5 meter ones. I immediately transformed. I looked around to take on the titans, and they were all gone. It looks like my transformation scared off those pesky titans too. While in my titan, I started to train, and when practicing my stomp, the earth started to shake all around me. This is so awesome! Nothing can challenge me now. I also learned that I have a killer punch in my titan form. And after not too long of training, I started to lose my sight, just like the last time. And I crashed to the ground. And I got back on my horse to keep on exploring, knowing that I would have to train really hard if I wanted to become stronger. I soon got into this massive forest of giant trees, and inside there was a campsite. I knew this would be a perfect place to camp out for the night, so I leashed up my horse and slept in the tent. The next morning, I woke up and got on my horse to find the training camp, and after not too long, I found what looked like it. I rode in through the front gates and looked for a spot to leave my horse while I trained. Um, hello? Good afternoon, what might your name be? My name is Dr. Duke, sir. Well, Dr. Duke, I would assume you are here to train. First things first, we don't got too many resources, so you'll need to make some training equipment if you want to start training. Once you have this, come back to me for the rest of training. After getting those instructions, I left back on my horse to go back to the campsite. I made it back, and it was still daytime, but I needed to get to work on making the training equipment, so I got some wood and made myself a full set of wooden tools. When nighttime struck, I found a spider, and I had to kill it because I needed some string for my training equipment. There were only a few more things I needed now. One of those was stone, so I started to dig. Soon after that, I made myself a stone pickaxe and a furnace to smelt the stone with. And bada bing bada boom, I finished making the training equipment. I packed up all of my things, and then got on my horse to then leave for camp. But nothing is ever this easy. There was a smiling titan blocking my path. I quietly snuck around the smiling titan and made it safely behind a tree. As much as I would like to destroy it in my colossal titan, I couldn't transform because I already did it twice in only a couple of days. So I just left the titan there and went back to camp to continue training. I got back to camp and gave my training equipment to Keith Shadius. Here you go, sir. Good job. Now we can get to work on your balance. Place it down and give it a try. It may take a few tries. I got it, sir. Can I join the survey corps now? Well, I'll be a monkey's uncle. Nobody has mastered the ODM gear this quick since Levi. Tomorrow, you'll go out to the forest and practice on the dummies. Here, take these. You'll need them for tomorrow. Thank you, sir. You're the best. Whoa, this is fast. Oh, well, it looks like it's getting pretty late. I think I should stay here for the night. This looks like a pretty good spot to me. In the morning, I said goodbye to Sir Shadius, and then left for the final part of training. When I got there, I started to have a good time. Woohoo! Yeah! Odium gear is the best! 
I'll be swinging Titans with my Odium gear in no time. I'm really getting the hang of this now, but I could still use some more experience. I continued to train more and more, mastering the craft of my Odium gear. But when I was leaving, the Earth started to shake near the training camp, so I got there as fast as I could. And the Armor Titan started to destroy everything in sight. He started with the wall, smashing them over and over again, as if he was looking for someone. Or something. He then left just as quick as he came. And when I got there, the whole place was demolished and Mr. K was gone. Promise me, you'll kill that Titan. His last wish was for me to kill the Titan. So I left for where I heard the noise first from. Shiganshina. I have to avenge him. I can't let him die in vain. When I got there, the place is empty. And I was low on food, so I found some steak in a chest and grabbed all of it to heal up. Then shot off with my ODM gear to check on the damage, and what I found were titans within the walls. It was time to put this ODM gear training to the test, and not before too long, the bloodshed began. This one is for Key! I got him! Just like that, I'd gotten my first titan kill. Soon after, I got my second kill. And before I knew it, there was only one more titan left. I went in for the kill, but I missed. The titan was right behind me, so I had to get out of there. I got the high ground and then decided to move up to the top of the wall. Alright, this should be a safer place. I peered down at the titan, the last one. If I couldn't kill it like this, then there was only one other way. I jumped off the top of the wall and transformed into the colossal titan once again, eradicating the normal titan beneath me. I then lost control over all of my titan instincts and began to walk all over Shiganshina. After a while, I ended up being pulled from my titan, and then I saw Levi standing over me and he introduced us to Monster Legends. This video is sponsored by Monster Legends. Monster Legends is a free-to-play battle RPG mobile game that puts your strategy skills to the test, and even Levi likes it. There are over 900 monsters to collect and new monsters coming out every single week. And if you want, you can also breed monsters of different elements and rarities to create a cool new species. Joining some of the most powerful monsters available in the game is this month's newest magic element monster, Brainlodon. This abomination from outer space is a hive mind that empowers all of his allies, making your team an unbeatable opponent in battles. You will also be able to level up your monsters and boost their powers with runes, relics, and talents to gain an advantage in the battles ahead. Create the best team and test your strategy in the ultimate challenge by battling other monsters in real-time live duels and multiplayer battles. My favorite section of the game is the YouTuber Island. On it, you can find monsters created in collaboration with some of the biggest YouTubers. And, if you download the game now using the link in the description or the QR code on screen, you'll get 50,000 food, 300,000 gold, 10 gems, and the epic monster Kyori. This monster literally has ODM gear on it, so there's no reason to not download the game right now. I woke up after that crazy sponsor and found myself in a dungeon. But after trying multiple ways to escape and what seemed like everything for multiple days, I had no luck. Another day in prison. Wait, who's that? I can't capture you if you're already locked up. Now can I? We got to let you go for now. When I woke up, the iron bars that were holding me in were gone, so I used this opportunity to escape. Luckily, it was nighttime because I could use the shadows to my advantage. I need to find whoever that person was that helped me. I kept running until I found another camp near a forest. But these forests are never lacking in titans since the armored titan had demolished the walls. I took cover behind the tent and was thinking of a way to get rid of this titan. I decided to go and check the chest for anything that could help. And in one of the chests, I found almost full ODM gear, but there weren't blades. I would have to think of another way to get rid of this Titan without them. Okay, let's do this. Okay, okay, now we got his attention. While standing on this tree branch, I noticed an unloaded chunk. This is perfect. All I would have to do is lure him over there. Okay, let's give this a shot. Here we go. Subscribe. Let's go. It worked. You guys have to subscribe for that. Click it right now. After that, I knew I would need a base, so I gathered some resources and decided to make a little shack. Also, a reminder, make sure to leave a comment. I will read and heart every single comment on this video. And there we go. It looks good, but I would like to have a little bit of a window. Much better. Once I finished the shack, I went over to the unloaded chunk and started to mine up all of the resources in it. I got a ton of iron, and I was able to get some coal too. Once I had finished smelting up the iron, I used it to make some new blades for my ODM gear, and some extra armor to help me find the person who broke me out of jail. Alright, I think it's about time I go look for them. Anyways, I had to search for the person who broke me out of prison, but I turned up with nothing but more hunger by the end of the night. So I went inside my shack and waited out the night. The next morning, I set out on a long trek to go into Trost, and when I got there, it was nighttime. My mission was to find even more food and some gas so I could survive on my own. But little did I know, Levi was on guard tonight, and if he caught me, I would surely be locked up, 
or even killed. I searched around an empty house, but I found nothing. And when I left to search another house, I spotted him. It looked like he was patrolling the same path, so I could time up when he comes and goes. When he left, I made a break for the corner of a building, and I got there without being noticed. Now I just have to time him up and check the chest over there in the merchant stands. I made it over and in the chest, there was a lot of food and seeds. I went over to the second chest and inside there was a bunch of baked potatoes. I grabbed them all and then sprinted away. I came back and decided to go into the guard post because that is where all the good loot would be. I made it inside and started to check the chest as quietly as possible. Come on, come on, he's coming back, I have to go quick. Yes, a gas tank. Wait, that's him right there. Oh no. I waited for him to leave. And when I couldn't hear him anymore, I opened the door and then sprinted away. That was way too close. Eventually, I made it back to my shack. I went inside and grabbed my iron and crafted some new blades because I knew I would need some spare blades if I wanted to survive. After using up all of my iron, I mined some more and made a bucket with it. And then I went to fill it with water to end off the day. When I woke up the next morning, my cabin was surrounded with titans. I decided to do the same thing I did with the last titan and lure them into the pit. And it worked again. Now I just had to deal with this little titan. Normal combat on these things are super hard because their napes are so tiny. So I had to try to see if the pit would work again. And of course, the pit never fails. Bye bye titan. When I came back and saw my house, it was in pieces. So I ignored all of that and went on the search for that person again. I made it out to a forest and saw someone on a rock. Sorry to do this to you. Wait, what are you doing? Before I could say thank you, she turned into the female titan. She looks super fierce and not friendly. I know what I have to do. Even though she released me from prison, I'm going to have to fight her. But I can't do it in this form. Immediately, I transform into the Colossal Titan. I'm gonna have to take you down now. No hard feelings. We both started to attack each other. She was getting in some good shots on me and her leg had turned into what felt like stone. I did what I knew best and that was to stomp. We both started going blow for blow, but she was tough and landing more shots on me. I kept landing good stomps because my punches were just not landing. I thought you saved me! Huh! I continued missing punches and hers kept connecting. Clearly the punches were not working. I kept pushing her back because I could feel the exhaustion on my titan body. Not to mention my hearts were really low. Even with low hearts, I knew I had to keep fighting. Harder and harder. This couldn't be where it ends. I kept attacking with my stomp, but that wouldn't be enough. The female titan is just too fast and can dodge all of my punches. She started to go for my legs. If she gets them, this will be the end for me. Luckily, my stomps are keeping her away from them. Come on, I have to keep this up. She can't keep fighting forever. Alright, couple more stomps. And then, I landed the final blow. The female titan had collapsed to the ground. When I got down, I was badly injured, but I noticed a notebook had dropped where she had fallen. It read, Reiner, I have located the Colossal. I will go out to the forest for our talk in the morning. Annie. After that, I left the forest and slowly made it back home, killing a couple titans in the process. By then, I was low on gas, so I grabbed my pickaxe and decided to go mining for some iceburst stones. But when that was too slow, I decided to go into Trost at night and look for some gas canisters I could take. At the top of the castle, I started to search in the barrels and the chests. I was able to find one gas tank. This should do for now. I then left Trost and went back home before anybody could catch me. I made it back home during the nighttime and then went to sleep. The next day, while searching for a meaning behind the notebook, I came across a person in the forest. I have to get closer to see what that guy's doing over there. I snuck around and heard people talking. What are they talking about? She must about? have been caught off guard by the Colossal. If only I was there sooner. There is no time to waste. We must get back to our mission. We still don't know who has the Colossal yet, but we will find out soon enough. After they said that, they ran off in another direction. Both those guys must be with Annie. That means they are trying to kill me too. I have to get out of here. I left on my ODM gear to go into Tross. But when I got there, I saw Levi! Oh no, it's Levi, I have to go! Levi didn't let down. He started to chase me with his ODM gear as well. How am I going to lose him? Levi started to close the gap between us and was getting closer. What do I do? What do I do? He's right behind me. I landed on a rooftop and ran. He's trying to kill me. Levi is much more skilled than me with his ODM gear. But if I want to escape, I would have to face him down. He bolted at me and landed some slices. He's too quick. How can I lose him? It's not letting me transform either. 
Then Levi got right in front of me and landed some insane hits. I retreated once again, but he was right behind me, ready to strike. Wait, wait. Oh, I'm only on one and a half hearts. I have to get out of here. I have to... Levi, wait. Don't kill me. No. Oh, wait. Where am I? You have been put up for trial. We know that you're a danger to us I'm all. I'm not the only one out there. I killed one. It was the female titan. I used my colossal powers to fight and take her down. I also believe I know who the other shifters are. I vote we keep him alive. If he does anything out of hand, I will finish him off myself. We trust in you, Levi. Woke up in a nice bed and a really nice room. I checked out this place where I was, and it was insanely nice. There was a ton of food, not to mention a whole new set of ODM gear and a scout regiment cloak to keep me hidden. I think this fits me quite well. I left the house and went outside to find that I'm in the interior. This place is so nice. I spent the whole day exploring what the interior had to offer. And after looking at some massive buildings, I went into one and found some ODM gear supplies. I needed them, so I took them. I reloaded my swords and then left the house to go find some titans. And before too long, I found two of them standing near the wall. I started to attack these titans, but they felt really strong for some reason. I landed a perfect hit on one of them and took it down. Just one more. After missing one attack, I made my way around the wall for cover. And from the wall, I launched at the titan and took it down. I guess you could say I'm the best titan slayer there is. Well, in my human form. If you guys are enjoying the video so far, please drop a like. It would mean a lot. After that plug, I went around the interior when I spotted this old building, and it looked like there was a guy on top of it. I went over to get a better look, and once I got a better look, I recognized he was the guy from the forest who was trying to capture me. Within seconds, I transformed, and so did he! I stared at him in his titan's beady eyes. I wouldn't let anyone take me alive, not even another titan shifter. I threw the first punch, but he dodged it. This guy is way faster than the female titan. The titan started to claw at me, and he was doing a lot of damage. He's biting my leg! What is this, the jaw titan or something? He kept throwing more and more slashes my way with his claws, and they are doing a lot of damage. When he stood still for a second, I was able to stop the jaw titan, and I knew that one hurt. I kept at him, but then he threw something at me, and it pushed me backwards. This little guy is way more stubborn than that any girl. Right after saying that, I was able to land a perfect stomp on him, finishing him off for good. After barely making it out of that battle, he left a book too. I'm looking around for him in the interior. Still no sign yet. Once you get back from Jaganchina, let's meet up in Trost. Hopefully you will have brought her with you, Galliard. I thought Annie was already dead. How can they bring her back? Is there another girl I don't know about? I left back into the interior and went home to go to sleep after that crazy day. And in the morning, I left to look for Levi. And I found him at the top of the biggest building. Levi, here, take this. Good work, Cadet. I knew it was worth it to keep you alive. You should go back to Shiganshina soon and investigate who this new person is. You look pretty beat from that battle. Are you recover? You should work on mining up some more ice burst stones. I took the pickaxe from Levi and went to work on spending the next couple of days on mining ice burst stones. After mining up over a stack of them, I figured it was good enough. So I went back to Levi to give it to him. There you go, Levi. A lot of ice burst stones. Hope you enjoy. I then went back to my bed and slept to get some rest. When I woke up, I decided to check my chest, and inside there was some gas and a book. It was from Levi, giving me a gift for the ice burst stones I mined. I collected the gift gladly because I was all out of gas. Now I could go back to Shiganshina. Now that I'm rested up, I need to investigate what it said in that notebook. When I got there, I heard some voices talking in the dead of night. I snuck over to investigate. There's a girl. The Colossal must have gotten him while he was out on his reconnaissance mission to locate him. At the very least, you brought me here to help. But if this keeps up, we'll be screwed. We must find and steal the Colossal without any casualties from here After on After they out. finished talking, they split up in different directions. I knew they were both Titan Shifters, and I can't 2v1 right now, so I found an old house and stayed the night in Shiganshina. When I woke up the next morning, I looked over to my right and saw another 15 meter Titan. It hadn't spotted me yet, though. I went over to the top of a house to get a perfect angle on the Titan. Alright, let's do this! Yeah! Oh, I missed! The Titan is sprinting this way? Oh, That was one block away from killing me. That was definitely a message to leave Shiganshina and go back to the interior. I need to report this to Levi. I got over to Levi and told him everything I knew about the new girl and what had happened in Shiganshina. Here, take this. It should help. He gave me a new piece of technology called a Thunder Spear, so I had to go try it out. I found a 15 meter tall Titan and went to try this thing out. And just like that, it decimated the Titan so easily. This definitely worked, but I lost half my health. I went back to my house within the interior and went to sleep soon after that. 
In the morning, I transformed and went right to work on training my Colossal Titan powers for the upcoming battles. I would need every ounce of strength I have if I'm going to defeat those new Titan shifters. Once I finished training, I explored around the outside of the interior walls when I found a wooded village of some sort. I was searching around when I saw the girl from Shiganshina there, and she was alone. This is my chance to defeat her. We both transformed and the battle commenced. I started off by hitting the titan with a stomp, but she retaliated with a massive gun attack, and it did so much damage while launching me into the air. I kept hitting her with my powerful stomp, but this turret on her was too powerful. It kept launching me into the sky, and I was taking fall damage. Even though I was doing a lot of damage to her, she was dealing way more back to me. I tried to get close, but the bullets kept flying me backwards. I couldn't hit her. I got close and tried to do an attack, but then she released her biggest barrage of bullets yet, throwing me into the interior's walls. This is not looking good for me. If I didn't do this training before, I would be dead right now. The cart titan started to close in, and I was able to land a few shots, but her abilities were far too much for me to get any solid damage in. And another barrage of bullets was flying me above the walls! This is it. I don't know if I can defeat her. She's far too powerful! I came back down, but I was low on hearts. The guns kept a blazing while I kept trying to break her turret with my stomps. She started to close in on me knowing I was almost dead and was doing some melee damage. I tried to attack her again, but was stopped with a wall of bullets. I needed to end this now. I closed in, not stopping, and started to stomp to try and break the turret. And with one last hit, she was gone. I made it out of the fight with only one heart, and I saw she dropped a notebook as well. I picked it up and started to read. I'm going into the interior to inspect the region for Zeke. Hopefully he won't need to come, but we must seize the Colossal. Peek. So, her name is Peek. If this Zeke is anything like her, I'll be finished. I turned back to show the new information to Levi, but when I got back, he wasn't there. There was a notebook, though. It read, Hello, Colossal. I have your master, Levi. If you want him, you have to face me. I think it's about time we end this. I have to find this Zeke and finish him off too. I can't lose Levi like I lost Shadius. I spent the rest of the day frantically searching around the interior for Levi, but I couldn't find him, and I was low on gas. I traveled into Trost to look for Levi using every ounce of gas I had left, but I couldn't find him. I had to go back home to sleep and begin the search in the morning. The next morning, I continued my search by traveling to the capital. I ran into one of the buildings in the capital and found a bunch of new thunder spears. I took them, I also found some more gas canisters as well. And in the last chest, I found two more thunder spears. I'm all set. After getting the loot, I went to the top of the wall because I heard a loud noise. Just as I looked down, there were titans that spawned in out of what appeared to be thin air. I went down and used my thunder spears against them. Luckily, I had looted the capital. One more titan left. I used my last thunder spear, but it didn't work. So I went to try again. I shot upwards with my ODM gear, and right before he could kill me, I launched one in his face. Ha! Take that, you ugly titan. That night, I found a new village and decided to seek refuge in it for the night. Nobody was here, so I started to rummage through all of the chests. In these chests, I found a ton of food that I was able to take. After I finished taking all the village's food, there was a loud scream, and the whole area shook around me. What is causing this? I looked around the house, and there were titans that just popped up from nowhere. Alright, it's time to kill some more titans. Whoops, I missed. Okay, let's try the Thunder Spears instead. Yeah! Wait, that didn't kill them? It looks like I'll have to lure them into this canal. Alright, it worked. While they were stuck, I looted a house and found some more blades and some more food. But when I came back to finish them off, they weren't there. At this point, I was just hoping Levi would still be alive. I started to search in a whole new district, but what I found was her. You must be him! Tell me how you do it! Sorry, I can't show you. I need to look for Levi. Someone named Zeke has captured him. Is there anything you can do to help? Sorry, I get carried away. The most I can do is give you some gas and these thunder spears. Thank you, I need to go now. I took the thunder spears and continued with my search. What just happened? I'll have to deal with these first. I used a thunder spear and missed on this big old beardy. Okay, you wanna die at old school then, huh? Ah! Nice, I got him. The other titans, I was gonna use my thunder spears to deal with, but as soon as I came down, they attacked me. I threw my thunder spear, but it missed. I tried again, but I missed both of them. And right before they got me, I launched up the wall and fired my last thunder spear to finish him off for good. While investigating the village to see what caused this, I saw a blonde haired man running, so I chased after him. But when I turned around, he vanished just as quick as he came. I knew this must be Zeke trying to kill me. 
I had to find Levi, so I searched in all the houses for him. But he wasn't there. I decided to sleep in one of the houses so I could search for Levi in the morning. With my Odium gear, I started racing in search for him. I had to find him today. And in a whole new forest, there he was. It was Zeke. <laughs> it's time to take what's ours. Let's see what you got, Colossal. I transformed and we began to fight. I already felt the power in Zeke's punches. Unlike the Cart Titan, there wasn't knockback. So as long as I kept using my stomp, I would be able to do a lot of damage. Wait, what is happening? I started to emit esteem from my body, doing damage to the Beast Titan, and it was pushing him back. Was this a new ability? I can't control it, but it's doing a lot of damage to him. This combined with more kicks and punches will surely finish him off. I have to defeat him right now and right here so I can get Levi back. One more! Lara, Reiner. I leave the rest to you. Levi, are you okay? The Beast Titan said that there will be two more attempts to capture you. If he is to fail, the Warhammer should be a challenging opponent. I suggest you train for at least five days if you wish to take it on. I took Levi's advice and began training in my Colossal Titan form. I really needed to get the hang of this new Steam ability. And after five days of hard training, I finally mastered the Steam ability. I feel much more confident in my power now. By the time training was over with, I was low on food, so I went back into Trost to look for some. In the house, I was able to find a whole bunch of food. But it was nighttime, so I decided to stay there for the night. It's now day 72, and I needed to look for more clues surrounding this Warhammer Titan. But first, I have to deal with this guy. I got a good vantage point and missed my first attack. And when I came back around, I missed the second one too. I eventually lured him into the river and finished him off in third person. After all that fighting, my blades had broken on the way back to the interior. So after looking in many houses, I finally found some new blades and some more food. When I left the houses, I noticed it was late, so I decided to stay the night here and go back to check in with Levi in the morning. Levi, I haven't found anything yet. Wait, what are you wearing? I guess you're trying to stay protected now anyways. Um, no, I haven't. Thank you. That's actually a great idea. Thanks! I got to the top of the interior's walls and began to look around. And I looked around all day, but I didn't find any clues. The only way to use the walls is to be one with them, so after grabbing my bed, I slept on top of them. Day 74 through 78, I went back to Shiganshina to check on the walls there. But I had to deal with this pesky titan first. Ha! That was way too easy. Leave a comment right now if you think I'm better at Levi than killing titans. When I got inside Shiganshina, I noticed a campfire was still lit, and the city was supposed to be deserted. I must be onto something here. I took Levi's advice and started scanning the walls above the campfire, but I didn't really see anything out of the ordinary. And it was sunset, so I decided to sleep right here on the wall. And I haven't found anything Renner, yet. I have been hiding in the agreed upon spot. I won't leave until I get the signal. I had a feeling something was going on around here. I just couldn't put my finger on it. I jumped off the wall and went down to grab some blocks to thoroughly check the walls with them. When I got up to the top, I jumped and placed a block underneath me, and I only survived with one heart. I realized I would need some more blocks, so I jumped off and did the same thing, but I realized this looked a little bit different. I started to hit at it, and I saw a person! It was her! I transformed in time, and we both started fighting on the wall. She actually had a hammer. This Titan's attacks were doing so much more damage, I could barely keep it off of me. Ah! What was that? Okay, I have to avoid that next time. I gotta keep using my punches. Oh no, another one! Ah! This Titan is no joke. Wait, is that the Armor Titan? They ambushed me! No! They're 2v1ing me! The Steam ability is doing a good job keeping them off, but I can't fight them forever. I have to get rid of one of these guys. With one more stomp, the armor was down. I just had to focus on the Warhammer now. I had to keep using my stomps and my punches. She fell down! I have to follow! I jumped off the wall and the battle continued. She kept using her massive hammer and it was doing so much damage. My steam ability was used up when I was fighting both of them, so I couldn't use it right now. I had to rely on brute strength. She had used her hammer and spun it around my legs, almost taking them off. But I kept them there and was able to stomp still. That is all I needed to finish her off. I got out of my Titan with two hearts. They almost killed me. I had to go and talk to Levi. I made it to the capital and told Levi everything that happened. He then gave me some steak and some thunder spears to help out in any way he could. He said I should stay the night in the capital, so I left the big building to look for a place where I could put my bed and spend the night. I knew if I was going to fight more titans, I would have to train up my titan abilities. Once I finished with that, I went back into the capital at night and decided to look through some of the loot that they had. And it was a jackpot. There were golden apples, thunder spears, and some meat, which was crazy. 
Man, this is so good. While out exploring, I found another pack of titans in between the walls. I had a bunch of thunder spears now, so I could use them against them. Why am I two hearts? I gotta get out of here. I retreated to the top of the wall and ate my golden apple to heal up. I then came back down, and there was only one titan left. So now it was time to use my last thunder spear to finish him off. I stumbled back into the village where I had fought in the cart titan and looked around. I found a good place where I could put my bed and go to sleep for the night. While up in the morning, I found a sign above the house that said, This is the home of Keith Shadius. Reminded me of the promise that I didn't keep when I heard something. I need to get out of here. Not even the Marlin troops can save me from this hell. It was the Armored Titan. I immediately left after him to fight him. This is it. This is the moment I've been waiting for. I can't screw this up. I have to defeat him right here and right now. The promise that I made! You got away last time, but I won't let you get away this time. I noticed that my punches and stomps weren't doing enough damage. His armor was blocking all of my attacks. I decided to use my steam ability to try and break some of his armor. And it was working, but only a little. I was able to hit a couple good punches while I was using my steam ability, but he kept kicking me. I can't lose this one. If I do, then my promise will be for nothing. I used my steam attack once again, because before I could do any real damage, I would have to break through some of his armor. This guy is the most plot armor I've ever seen out of any type. He just cannot die. I have to finish him off right here and right now. I kept punching, and I kept missing. He's way too short to punch. I hit him with the 1-2 elbow, and it seemed to work. He was taking a lot more damage now, and his armor had started to crack. I started using the steam ability to finally push him over the edge, and with one last stomp, I think I was able to do it. I did it for you, Mr. Shadius. I knew I wouldn't make it long. I'm sorry, Annie, Parko, Peek, Zeke, Lara. I couldn't do it. Aaron, if you can hear me, you must do it. What are you mumbling on about? Whoa, what is happening? The earth around me. It shouldn't have come to this. I have to go see what's going on. When I got back, it was decimated. Everything gone. What happened? I need to go investigate this. I have to go. I ran for many days, and what I found was a giant wall. I decided to scale it. When I got up to the top, there was a giant staircase, leading down to something. And what I saw was not peace, but war. If you guys would like to be able to download these mods and the map, then get this video to 3,000 comments. Once it does, I'll put a pinned comment with the downloads for both of them. See you guys in the next video. Make sure to download Monster Legends from the link in the description if you want to claim yourself an insane monster and a bunch of limited time rewards. Thank you again for sponsoring this video. Thank you guys for all being patient with me with my bad upload schedule. I hope you enjoyed this video. See ya.